Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using conditional formatting to indicate differences between scores in Excel. So oftentimes in counseling research, we administer a pretest, and then we administer some sort of treatment, and then a post-test, with the hopes that the post-test will indicate a lower score, which could indicate that the treatment was effective. And we can use the conditional formatting feature in Excel to clearly indicate when the post-test was lower than the pretest, equal to the pretest, or higher than the pretest. So first I'm going to enter a formula in the difference column. So you can see it, these are fictitious data. I have an ID, number, pretest value, and a post-test value. And I've created this column for the difference. So this function will be fairly straightforward. I want the number to appear negative if the post-test value was lower than the pretest. So in that case, I'm going to select post-test minus pretest. So you can see here, it's a positive two because the post-test value is two points higher than the pretest. I'm just going to autofill this down for every record. And you can see now we have the differences between the pretest and the post-test. So if I select D2 all the way down through D18, all the differences, go to conditional formatting, go to icon sets, and I'm going to pick the directional icon set here. Now it's going to use the default settings. I'm going to go back in and manage the rules and then edit the default settings. You can also just go directly in and format all cells based on the values and select this icon, the format style icon sets, and then this icon style here. So you can see by default, we have the green arrow and the value is greater than or equal to 67%, and the yellow arrow when the value is less than 67 but greater than or equal to 33 percent and then a red arrow when the value is less than 33 percent. We're not interested in percents here, we're interested in the number. So I'm going to change percent to number for both these types and then you can see the value changes to zero. So what I want this to do is to indicate a green arrow if the difference is greater than zero. So I'm going to change green arrow here to when value is greater than zero. And then you can see the yellow arrow is set to when less than or equal to zero and greater than or equal to zero. So you're only going to see the yellow arrow when the value is zero. And then the red arrow is for when the value is less than zero. So I'm going to click OK and then apply. And you can see after I hit apply, the settings are displayed in Excel. So I'll click OK here. Let's take a look at these indicators. So you can see when the post-test was positive, in this case 2, it went up. From the pretest, you have the green arrow. When it's negative, when the post-test value is lower, you have the red arrow, and when there was no change between the pretest and the post-test, you have the yellow arrow. So in this case, of course we want the treatment to work, we're going to be looking for these red arrows. All these are indicative that the treatment may have worked. The post-test score is lower than the pretest score. The green arrow here indicates where the treatment seem to have the opposite effect as intended and of course the yellow arrow where there's no change. So what if instead of the yellow arrow only appearing when there's no change between the pretest and post-test that you could specify a range? For example, if the difference was from 1 to negative 1, we would still consider that no change in terms of which icon is displayed. So in order to do that, we'll go back to conditional formatting, manage rules, 
and select this rule and edit the rule. And this is a fairly straightforward change. So instead of the value equaling zero in these two boxes, I change this value to one. So now the green arrow only appears when the value is greater than one. And then the second value, the one that's in the same row here is the yellow arrow. I'm going to change that to negative one. So we can see we have the green arrow when the value is greater than 1, the yellow arrow when the value is less than or equal to 1, and greater than or equal to negative 1. And then we'll see the red arrow displayed when the difference is less than negative 1. So click OK, and then apply. You see the settings are now displayed in the column. Click OK. So you can see here we have the yellow arrow, even though there's a difference of negative one, the yellow arrow when there's no difference, and when there's a difference of one. However, in instances where the difference falls outside of that range from negative one to one, for example here, we still have the green arrow, and here we still have the red arrow. So now you can quickly see if a difference fell into your definition of increasing, staying the same, or decreasing. Now I have used the arrows as the icon set, but you can change this fairly quickly. Go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, select this rule, edit it, and you can see under Icon Style, I have the arrows in there, but there are many choices. You can go with gray arrows, and a variety of other icons. Another one that might be fairly good for this example would be the red triangle, the yellow minus sign, and the green triangle. So you can just switch that to that icon style, click OK, and apply, and now you have the new icon set in place of the arrows. I hope you found this video on conditional formatting to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.